What's going on everyone? It's Keith with the Tulsa Motor Club, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to solder a hole in a gas tank. So here's the situation. Both the KZ and the SR's gas tanks have some small pinholes in them that are just a little too large to be filled by any tank liner. And after a little research, I decided I was going to fill the holes by filling them with solder. This is something I've never done before, but it seems fairly easy as long as you can get your hands on a good powerful soldering iron. So let's get into it. Like I said, you'll need a strong soldering iron, some flux of some kind, I prefer the liquid kind but this paste is all I had on hand, and of course you'll need some solder. And that's it. First I cleaned the area that needed to be soldered by sanding it with some sandpaper and then cleaning it up with some acetone before I started working. Once it was clean, I applied the flux to the work area. Once my iron got to about 800 degrees, I started to apply the solder. A quick disclaimer, if it's not obvious to you already, make sure that your gas tank is clean and free of any kind of debris on the inside, especially any kind of liquid, vapors, or gases. We're going to be applying a lot of heat, and it is a gas tank, so make sure you take the time to make the right safety steps. You don't want this thing to blow up in your face. Anyway, let's get to it. As I mentioned earlier, I've never done this before, but I have soldered things like wire and PCB boards and other electrical components like that, but working on the metal was just a little bit different. The solder behaved a little weird once it hardened. After that point, when I tried to melt it again, the iron really didn't do anything, and it just kept ripping the bead I'd already made right off the tank. The trick that worked for me was that I just used a lot more solder than I really thought I needed to, as well as more flux, and eventually, everything flowed real nicely and filled in the hole perfectly. Next, I just sanded it down flush with the tank, and I'm good to go. To tell you the truth, I found myself oddly intimidated by all this from the beginning. Once I had it all done, I have to say that it's a super simple task, and it leaves you with a nice clean solution in the instance that you have a small hole in your tank like I did. You just can't do it with one of those cheap $10 soldering irons. But that's it for this video. I know it's a short one, but if you liked it or found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and let me know down in the comments. Also remember to follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you want more daily content, and be sure to subscribe to this channel, that way you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. In fact, here are a couple other videos you should check out, and as always, thanks for watching. Later.